Hi everyone and welcome to my presentation. The topic I've chosen for assignments two and three is coping with change and the specific information organisations that I will be looking at will be libraries. So let's have a look at the issues. So change, is it really as good as a holiday? Well it's challenging, risky, takes people out of their comfort zones, um, but as we've seen the majority of times change does fail but what we need to also realize is that change is now the normal way of operating in workplaces so libraries have changed and they continue to do so um, they're coping with new technologies and the advent of the digital world and because of that they're having to um, change the way they offer their services so they offer more than just books on shelves Libraries have also changed in the people who work in them, having to be more flexible um, and having to learn how to multitask because of the changes brought about by technology. And this has brought about change also for the users who um, engage with libraries in their expectations of what the library will provide. So certain things can go wrong in times of change, particularly if the change isn't managed effectively. The strategic vision might become lost or blurred. Uh, the um, participation might not be encouraged and because of that um, resistance might start to take hold and the change will start to fail. Other things can go wrong for the workers in libraries particularly. So change can introduce increased workloads. Um, job security be can become an issue and that can lead to increased stress and that will also lead to resistance to the new initiatives growing and building. And finally, the major thing that can go wrong is that communication might break down um, or not be um, effective during the project of um, change that might be being undertaken and that will also grow um, resistance to the change and the chance of failure then um, dramatically increases. So libraries can cope with this by becoming organisations that um, Drucker calls change leaders. So that means that they're pro proactive and they stay ahead of the changes that occur are occurring in the sector. And they can also look at setting up a culture of changeability, which means their workers are equipped to be able to adapt to the change. So my problem statement is library managers who want to lower the failure rate of service change initiatives need to develop strategies, policies and practices that will build and support flexible, adaptable, resilient and change ready information professionals.